What's up guys, Artillboy here. Today we're doing another video. Today we're taking a look at the Taylor Seto. Yes, the Taylor Seto Dragon Claw. Let's begin. Ah, uh, this one here. You could definitely know I'm gonna have to love to point this out of here. So when I got this, and this was in 2013, I actually got this alongside with the, you know, pretty much the multiple knives I own out there, like the the Survivor Survival Knife, the USAF Pilot Knife, and of course, the Pakistani Pakistani Dagger that, you know, that may, may not be very popular out there, but you could know why. So, as you all can all know for it out there, is I also bought this too. And this, um, actually the seller who bought me, or actually sold me this, is like, there was one guy who was going to get that. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to buy it anyway. I may be sound like a villain out there, but I kind of wanted like a good, you know, ballet song to it. So the handle itself would have like... Also, by the way, yeah, you could definitely... So there's also the... And the reason why I'm actually pointing this out here. So this is Taylor Seto or Seto or Seto. Surgical Japan. So this one's uh I'm not sure if this is like like a clone or something, but but there is also other variants like the one in silver called Dragon Claw. So maybe this is maybe a clone or something, but I found out uh, also that there was actually like part of this also was like a limited edition, I think, which I'm not sure. Maybe that's uh, undocumented or something, which you could definitely know for it. So these have like these holes, or rather the seven holes that gets bigger onto the blade itself to basically the bigger out there. Also the latch out there. This one is surgical steel. So that's and also the pins on there. If I can yep the, the brass pins. With some brass pins. So let's talk about so the size on the knife. So the size on this one is around about three and a half inches. Meanwhile, for well, basically meanwhile for the the handle and while it's closed it would be around about let's see five quarters. Meanwhile, for mail for the the overall size would be around about of nine nine quarters. So let's test this bad boy out. The results out there is, well, not the best, but it's also, like, deep cuts. Kind of, but, like, a couple cuts out there and even, like, hanging up out there, you know, to basically finish the job on that one. So, by actually, by the mysterious, you know, or rather by also rare status of this thing, but uh, it's also pretty sharp, too, on the thing. So I gave the Taylor Seto, and I know this is going to be a lot of my biased opinion on this, Taylor Seto or Seto Dragon Claw, an astounding, um, an astounding of, let's see, something like a, a 9 out of 10. Well, not like the, it is pretty insane, it's also my second Rather, my best one I have out there. So, yeah. Even if, uh, I'm not sure if this is, like, 
don't know how what how rare it is out there. So that wraps up of the Taylor Seto, Taylor Seto Dragon Claw. I'm our tailboy, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.